What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Silent Hill 2 Let's Play. I'm playing on a fat PlayStation 2 with the original disc and an original memory card, but I'm not using an original controller now. Many of you know that I've been struggling with an aftermarket controller, and I went out to Micro Center and bought a new one, and I just did a, a, a Resident Evil 2 Let's Play with this controller. It's been great so far, but now we're going to put it to the real tests. And I think we're actually going to really start with this thing's feet to the fire right now. Well, it's Pyramid Head, everybody. Now, I do this the lame-ass way. Which is just by kind of outrunning him the entire time. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No, no, no. I'm okay. Eventually, he starts. Eventually, he launches into this like massive overhead swing. There it is. All right. From this point, it's fairly smooth sailing. But I want to make sure. Yeah, I figured that would have done it. All right. So now we're just gonna kind of pace around the room for the next, I don't know, five to ten minutes. If anybody knows any good jokes, now is probably the time. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Well, I tell you what, so far running back and forth has proven quite easy with this, with this controller that I purchased, so... I'm a happy guy so far. Look, see how he's not flailing around all over the goddamn place? It's kind of nice. Pyramid Head is not a very efficient monster, although I know he's not supposed to be. More than anything, he's supposed to be really, really scary, and I would say that he accomplishes that goal in spades. Now there's also a trap at the end of this, when he finally gets tired and has to go back and, I don't know, get his beauty sleep or whatever. Uh, it's really easy to inadvertently get killed. And that time will come soon enough. Oh, I don't want to be here. That's a bad spot to be. I feel like it does still pull, you know, I feel like the controller does still kind of pull you. It's hard to make... It's hard to make him go straight forward. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's hard to make him walk a straight line. So, I wonder if James had a Fitbit. Oh, shit! what the step count would be in this here uh, portion of the game. He certainly seems to be getting a little tired. Look, see? <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna plug him just a couple of times. Oh, fuck. Yeah, don't point at the giant monster, dude. What's with this? Never mind unplugging him. I can't seem to get James to... Alright. Shit. This is it. I just gotta hang right here. Why didn't he even... kind of point the gun at Pyramid Head, though? That pisses me off. I just wasted a couple of bullets, yo. So, in listening to the siren, I am forced to comment. Why is there a siren? Isn't the siren an Alessa nightmare thing? Like, I feel like sirens are associated with Alessa, not Silent Hill, the town. Oh, 
All right. Well, I can, you know, this has been a, <laughs> I'm sure this has been a riveting uh, chapter of the Let's Play to watch so far. So, but we did escape Pyramid Head and we did prove that James couldn't shoot Pyramid Head with a handgun if Pyramid Head was the size of the moon. Okay. I feel like we're finally outside of these goddamn departments. For which I am thankful. Alright, let's see where we at. Alright, I guess we're gonna head down these streets of Silent Hill in our attempt to find the park. Oh, it's a Laura cutscene. Laura, you're singing SUCKS! You! It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here, anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? None of your business. Yeah, God, really. I hate to side with Laura here, but... You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait! How do you know Mary's name? So, I mean, I guess they both kind of suck. Yeah, they both suck. Maybe that's why I don't like this game as much as a lot of other people do. There's just isn't a single person in this entire goddamn game, this entire cast of characters that I like even a little bit. I guess Maria because she's so cunning and scary, but she's also Maria, you know? Oh, well that didn't take a whole lot of, uh... fairly direct. What are you looking at? It's a quote, South Park. Remember when they go to Costa Rica? Alright, now we pick up a very, very, very iconic and important and moderately but not thoroughly annoying NPC.
You're coming with me? You were gonna just leave me? No, but... With all these monsters around? No, I just... I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. So I'm going to refrain, at least in this playthrough, from talking during scenes with Maria. And again, I'm sure if you're watching this, you already have some degree of familiarity with this game. But in case you don't, pay really careful attention to everything Maria says. Now, as an NPC, Maria can at least almost always keep up. She does get right in your way, though, and apparently the amount of times you bump into her can affect the ending. So I'm not going to bother exploring this park any further at this point, because there's no merit in doing so. We're just going to get out of here, and we're going to proceed through these streets. Oh, okay, yeah, fuck that. Now, I am of the belief that we could go to the gas station because that is where the next artifact is to get the desired ending of this playthrough, so we're going to head there right now. got me. Fuck you, man. Let's see what's going on with this aiming shit. Oh, shit, it's Maria. And... Alright, so the buttons have a considerable degree of delay. That I'm starting to notice. Like, the, the right thumb buttons, there's a considerable amount of time between when you press it and when... Like, see if, see if you can hear it. Listen. See that? That's how long it takes. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I know it feels really sluggish. Okay, now what's he looking at? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah, baby. I am down with that. Oh wait, this is the next artifact right here. Interesting indeed. Little touches like that just make this game so cool. Alright, come on, Maria. We are gonna go bowling. I'm pretty sure that this is the same bowling alley that Rose purportedly wakes up in in the Silent Hill movie. Uh, which is, of course, bu -bu -bu bullshit because. Damn, they're loading us up, man. Our cup runneth over with health drinks and handgun ammo, at least. Anyways, yeah, that movie sucked, and they did a lot of really terrible things in it. I'm trying to put together a review, like a proper movie review of the first movie, but it just takes a lot of time to do those. You know, I understand the appeal of making these now that I'm doing them a little bit, like, put a video like this together and... I'll wait here. I hate bowling. I didn't come here to play, you know. Hurry back, okay? Oh, yeah. Anyways, 
it turns out you can put a video like this together in like 15 minutes longer than it takes to actually play the game. Whereas movie reviews, man, if you want to do a semblance of a competent job, which I like kind of do sometimes, it takes a long time. Does he have to make yummy sounds, man, when he... Murder? Nah, nothing like that. Huh, you're just a gutless fat, though. What'd you have to say that for? Again, I don't want to have to side with fucking Eddie, but that was a shitty thing to say for no reason. I just ran because I was scared. God! I don't know what the cops are doing. But if you did something bad, why don't you just say you were sorry? I guess I run away a lot, too. It's no good. They wouldn't listen. Nobody will ever forgive me. Eddie, I forgive you. Actually, no, I don't. I don't forgive you for chewing your food like that. Talking with your mouth full. But also, Laura called you a gutless fatso for no reasons. What's your name, Mary? Sit there and eat pizza. <laughs> she said she was fine by herself. She said a fatso like me would just slow her down. Forget you. <laughs> How can you sit there and eat pizza? You know what, that would have enhanced Sharknado when uh, Cassie Scarborough says, This streets are flooded with sharks! If only the douchebag guy in that scene was eating pizza, then she could have said, How can you sit there and eat pizza? The streets are flooded with sharks! Did a little girl run out of here? Or whatever she says. Yeah, she was too fast for me. Aren't you gonna go after her? I mean, she is kind of a fucking bitch. Do I have to? I guess we're the adults, huh, guys? Okay, you see that? So my thumb is not on either of the directional pads. It's only on... Or, I mean, I'm sorry. It's not on left or right. It's only on up. You see how he does that? That was a problem with the other controller, too. But it's just nowhere near as pronounced in this one. But I guess now I know how to... Not have him turn all over the place. Just not press a D-pad at all. Not press left or right on the D-pad, that is. She went through there. Is there any other way? Yeah, there is. Right through there. No good. It's locked. He's like trying to see, look. 
looking in there. <laughs> okay, so this music totally gets stuck in my head. The Heaven's Night music. Uh, on the Born From A Wish sub-scenario, this is where you start. But I, I have a black label copy, so we can't, uh, can't play the sub-scenario. So you're looking at Maria. See, that's the only thing about Maria that kind of sucks. Is I can't tell if he is looking at Maria or an object. I'm going to assume he's looking at Maria and we're going to get out of here. Maria. That's a pretty cool camera thing there. Okay. Now, ostensibly, we're looking for Laura. And let's see. Oh, there she goes. Oh yes, okay. So we will enter the hospital and probably call it for right now. Now what's got two thumbs and has missed that map a bunch of times? This guy. Now, you can't see, but I'm gesturing towards myself with both my thumbs. <laughs> you know. Uh, cool. Perfect. All right. Uh, perfect. All right. We get to read this article. That's what I meant. Okay, so, got some violent dudes in here, some weirdos. If you're still with me, I sure do appreciate you, and I hope you are having a good time uh, re, uh, reliving Silent Hill 2 as the remake is on its way. Have a great day, or night, or whatever it is by you. Take care. See ya.